What's going on everybody? Today we're gonna run this awesome HBI WR8 Nitro. Let me give you a little history on this, exactly what it is. I have already done several videos with this awesome chassis. And guys, in all of my videos, I haven't even scratched the chassis. This thing still looks like new. There's a reason why. The reason is, this has got a great tall ride height suspension. Look at that wheel articulation. That is massive articulation, baby. This is probably going to be going on about a gallon of fuel on this particular model. I have loved every single minute of it, every single hour and every single tank. You guys out there, you wanna pick up something like this? Go ahead, I highly recommend you do that. Go to the link I added in the description to this video. This thing is retailing right now for $499 at A-Main. The only place that seems to be selling and supplying the HPI Nitros these days. Also, feel free to pick up a sickening HPI Savage. Or if you're feeling like a three-speed is your middle name, get the Savage XL, you will be happy. For me, I'm just going to run this today, have a good time. It is one of the last relatively okay weather days out here. I don't even have to wear a sweater, that is rare. The question is, is this blue making me look fat? I don't care about that question. Do I look like a Chiquita to you? I'm not a Chiquita, but the person recording this video is, and I wanna say special thanks to Nitro Gang Queen Melissa, for being out there with me, making Nitro videos great again. We're gonna fire this up, we're gonna do some runs, and I'm gonna show you guys that this is the Nitro that you want to get. You know, the other day, there was a live stream, and a viewer said, you know, there really isn't anything new in the Nitro segment. And I remarked, well, I mean, honestly, the WR8 is really, really sickening. It was only re-released like maybe a year and a half ago. What's, what's Arma doing these days? Oh, oh, I know the answer to that question. Arma is re-releasing the 8th scale Mojave for exactly 500 bucks. Is that new? I mean, honestly, I don't know if it's new. Let's fire this up. That's what I know. We need to burn nitro. I just realized we didn't really do a nice little chassis overview. So let's do that. The ultimate New York City fire hydrant chassis overview. Beautiful body. Nice thick Lexan Subaru WRX STI with an awesome wing sticking out there in the back. Going to decorate. We're going to decorate this hydrant. Man. Wow. Now that, that is pop art. You know what I'm saying? Modern art, however you want to call it. Go go to your local fire hydrant and put, put like a WR8 body on it. And, and that's it. Modern art, baby. Modern art. So top-down view at the sickening chassis this is based on the hpi bullet which has been around for over a decade now but this one has a couple modifications the wheels are unique and specific to this chassis now hpi does call this an eighth scale well that's debatable we do have the hpi g 3.0 engine also this is the ho high output model so very similar to the older generations Ford Taurus SHO with a Yamaha high output engine. You guys want the Ford Taurus SHO? Get a WR8, it's basically the same. In rear end, we have sway bars, nice soft shocks. I will tell you guys, when this thing is running, rich and loud, the suspension really looks like a pure rally car. We do have a center differential. That is actually a really unique feature for a chassis with a small block 0.18 engine. The bullet models do not come with a center differential. Just something you guys should know. We have a normal, not, not too large fuel tank, but it's okay. We have a single chamber tuned pipe, high flow exhaust header, and the rest is basically um, nitro greatness. Really got nothing bad to say. I will tell you guys my overall experience with this. After all of the videos I've done, not a single item has ever broken the tune on it has been fantastic i have not stripped any spur gears and yes the spur gear here is actually metal unlike the hpi bullet this g3.0 high output engine 
is is a miracle i i really love it nothing really bad to say about this guys if you are trying to get some upgrades for one of these um i would really consider maybe getting different servos that's probably the only negative thing i would say but these are pretty powerful for this scale and weight and size of a chassis this is not a particularly heavy car although it is based on more of a truck chassis platform the bullet well guys small overview and i bet you're asking yourself well bro what about compression do, do you have compression i'm gonna show you after one gallon we have crazy go go awesome awesome great compression this brakes look new the pad material on the brakes is also still good really almost no signs of wear we are running a regular four AA battery pack but you can easily stick a six volt five cell hump pack in one of these radio's turned on let's do an electronics check stock servo i have nothing bad to say about it i am content with the speed throttle brakes all work let's check our fail safe we'll turn it off there we go brakes are applied fail safe is good always do your basic radio checks guys you don't want to have a runaway we got fuel in the tank i'll do a real prime there's no fuel in the line at all right now i'm gonna give you guys the real experience of how to fire up a nitro plug the exhaust and pull away there you go there's fuel in the line i can see it this thing should fire up nicely i have the throttle trim about uh, 10 percent higher than my idle so when it fires up it might be a little high we'll adjust it as the engine warms up glow driver in it's time to witness rich and loudness there you go you see that incredible guys that was probably the best fire up i i think i've ever had so yeah we're gonna lower the idle a little bit. There you go. Idle is adjusted. Much, much nicer. This is a properly tuned machine. Awesome. This thing sounds incredible. Look at that rally driving. Incredible brake. Oh, it's got a little bit of a crowd already. Now those are brakes, baby. I like this thing. Thing is running beautiful. All right, it's time to take it out. Time to take it on the open road circuit. It could even do a little grass, guys. And do a pass. WRA coming. Gotta warm up that engine. It's a single speed. Oh yeah. Awesome traction from these wheels, guys. Beyond incredible.
gonna do some onboard driving. You guys, uh, you guys good with that? I'm good with that. Nothing beats a little onboard camera action, you know? Fire it up, mount the body, and run it. There you go. Ran out of fuel. Literally just ran out of fuel. Thought we killed the engine. Thought we killed the engine, but we literally just ran out of fuel. I uh, kicked it all the way back here. There was a crowd of people looking at it. Um, Should have checked for fuel, my dudes. I'll be honest with you, this whole video up until now was done with um, like 90% of one fuel tank. No wonder it tended to lean out there towards the end. Anyway, I got more fuel. I'm gonna fire it up again. Just, just chill a second, okay? We're gonna take it on some grass now, guys. Well, well, I can do the grass. Definitely mowing that lawn over there. It's running. I mean, it's not the best, but like. If you're wondering whether it can do crap, it can do it. Not too bad, not too bad. Really, really realistic driving experience with this one. I think that's kind of like what, uh, what HPI was going for and it looks great. Beat a scooter, beat him. Come on, biker. Biker, go this way, bro. I'm gonna race you. I won. Put it in for a pit stop, unfortunately. He could not be here. Let's just check out the chassis after all these runs. We got some glass. Engine is running great. I could easily touch it. That's because we're running super, super rich, guys. You know, you can get you can get a lot more speed out of these if you just lean them out. But I like to run rich and loud and make sure my nitros never die. Awesome drive train. Look at that single space. Beautiful idle. Wow. WRA gang, get one. Let's do this again, cause like, come on. We, we need a little more runtime, you know? Let's fuel her up. There we go.
Thing don't want to die. Thing don't want to die. Even the little crash. We got nothing damaged, nothing broken. It was like a big Dodge Ram dually driving by, you know. I uh, I wanted to do a little, you know, old RC stunt and like drive right under it, but the guy, I don't know, the guy looked like he was about to panic or something like, you know. Uh, I mean, how, how many speeds does that Dodge Ram dually have? I don't know. Uh, this Nitro, one speed? One speed is sometimes, sometimes all you need. Keep in mind, guys, I'm gonna tell you something. Uh, I was running really, really rich. I know that this particular model, WR8, as I walk back, you know, let me conclude this video. Uh, it is capable of hitting 40 miles an hour with like a relatively, uh, you know, aggressive level tune, so to say. But since I, I like to play it safe, you know, I invest in like low risk stocks online. Of course, even though I think they're low risk stocks, it's like next day, they, they, they take a tanker. It's like the Valdez oil spill. You invest in some oil company, next day, they got a freaking spill in the ocean, you know? They're stock tanks. But I'm gonna tell you something, guys. The Nitro Gang market with this WR8 will never tank. Well, thank you guys for watching, my channel members, my Patreon supporters. You want one of these? I'm telling you, go get one at A-Main. There's a link in the description to this video. $499. Live the good Nitro life. Thank you guys and see you next time. Nitro World Order. Nitro World Order.